birds. Hey guys, Rick here with Turf Time, and today we are going to be trying to make the grass darker. So I'm actually pretty happy with the color right now, but being a lawn care fanatic, we're going to see if we can get it a bit darker now. So today I'm going to be using a product called Ferrous Sulfate, which is also iron sulfate, 20% iron. So I've been doing some reading on it. It's uh, actually kind of a dual benefit. Uh, not only does it, actually a few benefits, not only does it supposed to make your lawn darker, it also helps lower the pH level. Now, here in the Midwest, in Kansas, our native soil is uh, clay, but it's also uh, built on limestone. So. We typically have higher pH levels, and uh, though I haven't done a soil test this year, the uh, tests have always come back to be around 7.5 or so. So this will actually help lower it even much quicker for, than elemental sulfur, uh, from my understanding. And at even higher rates, it is uh, it kills moss. So I don't have any moss issues. Uh, don't actually expect any, but you never know. So. Uh, what I'm going to be doing, I found this cool little measuring cup off of uh, Amazon. I can actually adjust from one ounce to four ounces. It's got milliliters on the other side. And it actually, I uh, it came with two cups. So this is the bigger one. It also has a smaller cup. And you supposedly can actually put liquids in this as well. But uh, I got my old pitcher for my liquids. So I'll be using this one for the granulars. And I'll be throwing it into the old four gallon backpack sprayer. So the uh, recommended rate is three ounces per thousand. So I'll be putting 12 ounces of this up in my sprayer, which will cover 4,000 square feet. I have it calibrated at uh, pretty much a gallon per thousand. And we'll go forward from that point there. All right, guys, let me get this stuff mixed on up. Uh, I'm actually going to be mixing it in a bucket. And got this off Amazon. I see Pete from GCI Turf using this one all the time. I have a regular paint strainer, but actually I mix paint with it. So I uh, got this one specifically for the lawn. So we'll get that, get water put into one of my buckets and we'll go forward from there. All right, let's get started. And we've been getting so much rain here lately. I think I better start utilizing some of this out of my rain barrel. So, go ahead and mix some of this uh, nitrogen filled rainwater in with my ferrous sulfate. And we'll see what happens. All right, guys. Time to turn super green. Turn it black. My guy would say, turn it black. All right. All right, guys, that is a wrap. I'm going to try to get some before pictures here. And then we'll show some after pictures. But um, one thing I'm probably going to end up trying is at the Kansas State University Laboratory, we have a color index. That's a uh, crazy machine. It can get, it can measure colors 
down to the micron something or another so I don't spend a lot of time there over the summer but I may actually attempt to get a before and after I'll get a couple blades of grass before uh, shoot it up with some iron and about a and then head back up maybe seven to ten days later I, it just kind of depends on how quickly it greens up and then I can actually give you some true scientific data on um, the color spectrums of different uh, grasses and stuff like that so if that's something you're interested in go ahead let me know because I'll spend the time I'll go on up there but um, as for now we just use our eyeballs and uh, kind of gauge it from there so I know this will be very difficult to see via a camera but I'm out here every day anyway so I'll be able to notice some type of a color change if it is or if it's significant or not so all right guys thanks for watching like comment subscribe and we'll see you next video all right Rick out so this is a couple days after the iron treatment and I can actually see a visible difference it's not significant but it's uh, enough to know that something has went on, has gone on uh, but there are some spots that I do believe I hit a bit heavy. Let's see if I can find a blade. There you go. <clears throat> so, when they talk about iron can turn your grass black, I think this is probably what they are talking about here. Get that to focus. Yeah, put that in my hand. So <clears throat> I can see that now. <clears throat> um, but even looking at the spot overall, it doesn't look bad at all. So I suppose if the whole yard went that color, it might be a little something of concern. I don't know. I might actually test that out sometime. I'm going to wait till I do my backyard, though, and see what black grass actually looks like. Painted black. Now, here's a heavy area. But it was real subtle, so <clears throat> that's probably where I either overlapped or uh, stayed in that spot just a little bit longer than I should have. But overall, I'm actually really happy with the outcome so far and i think we'll continue to use it so that product ferrous sulfate iron sulfate 20 percent iron uh, along with melorganite and uh, all that good stuff there so i'm just trying to make a nice healthy thick plush lawn so that we're not even in a full year yet and very happy with the outcome so, a lot of compliments from the neighbors <clears throat> because they actually <laughs> seen the progress from when this was just bare dirt. I mean, it was nothing but soil. And from where it's come to now, it's uh, actually pretty spectacular in the, in the overall scheme of things. But again, like these little bitty holes and stuff, that will get so annoying real quick. Uh, but I got a big plan for the fall. So, uh, I decided about it yesterday and we'll talk about it in a future video and go forth from there. Look at them stripes. Stripes look really nice. So, alright guys, that is a wrap. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Get out of this weather. We had a tornado warning last night, so everybody hunkered down in the basement. But some of us knucklehead men in Kansas, we go outside and look. So, no threats, no touchdowns, anywhere that I know of anyway, in the area. But super high winds. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Rick out. Oh, I almost forgot. Wanted to show you to see if you notice it as I get closer. 
hard to say it on the camera. But get these little spots that are just starting to lose chlorophyll over and over. So that is a bunching type fescue, I do believe. I hit it with tenacity uh, a week or two ago. And there's just some broadleaf weeds that are coming in and going out. So I got little white spots all over my yard, which is <laughs> really cool to see. So it blends in because it's not a lot. I did a really decent job on the uh, first go around of weed, pre or not prevention, but weed control. But I thought that was really neat. So iron turns it black, tenacity turns it white. And overall, it will become much more green. How about that? <laughs> There's probably some analogy there. I don't know. All right, guys. Later.